Welcome back to another video. Good morning. It's currently 6 a.m. and we're currently on our walk to my husband's first lesson. And like, I'll be stopped with the day, inshallah. The sunrise behind me is loading. <laughs> Don't know how much, but you can see at the moment. But subhanAllah, the sunrises here really are so beautiful. And I love the fact that we're out of the house like, before sunrise. Like, we see the sunrise. It's honestly the best part of our day. How are you guys feeling today? Having a good day? Are you studying today? Are you at college? Are you uni? Are you going to work? Let me know down below in the comments. I really thought Cairo was going to be dusty, ugly. <laughs> and the line, it's honestly so beautiful. There's so many beautiful parts of Cairo. Um, and honestly, I love this view. Another thing about Cairo that I found really strange when I came here is there's this like worker who comes out and washes all the cars in each complex. So for example, this complex, there'll be somebody who comes out at like 4 a.m. and does all the car washing. And like, if you want a car wash, I think you leave your wipers up. And if you don't want it washed, you leave them down. So weird. And then in our complex, it's so annoying because the guy who does it is literally right outside of where we sleep so that's when he fills up his water cleans all that gets all his whatever he needs and it's so loud honestly so the first week i was here i swear i was not sleeping very well because this guy just comes and he's like mashallah playing his quran in the morning and um yeah mashallah kind of wooden but honestly if you could keep down a little bit that'd be great <laughs> the security though has kind of helped us actually because every day we come in and he's so so nice, for sure. But I just told him that. Oh, like he said to us, oh, it's the noise bothering you. We were like, oh, a little bit, you know, trying to be polite. And he was like, oh, don't worry, I'll sort it. And he did, alhamdulillah. And every day when we see him, he kind of says to me and my husband, oh, how's the Arabic coming along? And every day I struggle to reply. My husband's a little better than me, alhamdulillah, for sure, a little bit more. Um, so he normally does the reply, and I'm there, like, what did he say? <laughs> Even though it's the exact same question every single day. Well, like, at some point soon, I'll actually be able to string a sentence together because that's actually what I'm looking forward to. Like, I want to be able to like, conversate with other people, even if it is on their like, basic, basic level, you know? Um, although I did feel proud of myself. I went somewhere the other day and I was asking for water. And I asked for water and I was, that was very impressive for me. <laughs> Show you guys. Come on. 
So my husband just finished lesson and I just had my morning coffee and my chat with my friend and we were just talking about perspective, I was kind of talking about how I'm just feeling a bit down about my progress and stuff and then I just remembered and reminded myself that like it doesn't matter, like as long as I'm trying, it's fine, like it lasts just between me and our world, like as long as my intention is there, it doesn't matter how much progress I'm making. Like I think I am guilty of comparing myself to others 24-7 and like I'm thinking oh like I'm here like oh, somebody else is there like it doesn't matter like literally it doesn't matter like that's my journey and like as Muslims we should be okay with like colour right we should be okay with where we're at with our progress like you know in any capacity we have to be okay with colour and I have to be okay with the fact that okay I'm a slow learner alhamdulillah like I'm getting more reward maybe than somebody else who knows like only Allah knows that right like I just need to like try my best and be okay with that rather than like constantly criticising myself and saying oh like I'm really bad at this I'm really bad at that or like that getting in the way of my progress because for example, like someone would be like, oh, read and I'll help you. I don't want to read in front of them because I'm embarrassed, you know, like, even though, like, why am I embarrassed? Like, I shouldn't be embarrassed. Like, that should just be between, like, me and Allah, like, who am I trying to impress? Oh, well, that's it, right? So, like, if somebody asked me to read and that's going to help me, then I should just do it. <laughs> Easier said than done. But I really want to try that over the next few days. I really want to just try and just have a bit more confidence and just do my best, even in lesson. Like, I might think I know the answer, but because I'm unsure, I don't, do, I don't suggest, like, my idea or I don't give my idea. But I should just like go for it, like even with, like you know, with my Arabic, I should just like go for it, try my best, like really get involved in the lesson, and like not be worried about like doing it wrong, because that definitely gets in the way for me. And like even when I'm outdoors, like I should be trying to speak in Arabic a little bit more, because I'm nervous for sure, like I don't. But that's ultimately getting in the way of my progression, you know. So I'm really going to try and be more confident in the next few days, and just do like do my best, be confident, give it a go, and see how that changes things. Because you know we should have a better outlook as Muslims, should be positive, and we should you know give everything 100 so alhamdulillah i just had my um arabic lesson and i feel like it went okay so i got loads of homework for the weekend though inshallah i'm gonna get it all done um and i'm just having a quick quick snack so i've got 15 minutes until my arabic lesson so i'm just having toast and peanut butter and i think i'm gonna have a kiwi as well inshallah so i'm gonna eat that oh she's ready actually i want it a little bit burner. um i'm gonna eat that quickly and then i'm gonna be ready for my lesson I'm going to teach Jamal on camera, so that's why you can just see me. Um, but alhamdulillah, it actually went quite well today. I feel like I'm making small, small progress. My fluency is definitely getting better. I'm going to practice some sores that I need to try and memorise and just do a little bit more reading by myself. And then I'm going to head out to do a bit of revision and Arabic homework. So I'm just going to carry on finishing doing my homework. This is a book we've been studying from. It's called Bayna Yadayk. Um, and this is like a really popular book to learn Arabic. Um, I know that like, quite a lot of people use it. And it's really good. It's really good. It goes from like, the basics and it's kind of like modules. I'm currently still on module one, um, but inshallah, I'm gonna get my way through this book in the time that I'm here. So the book consists of lots of different parts. Some of it's conversational, some of it's writing, some of it's like joining up certain things, like a bit of a game, which actually helps me a lot because even like the other day, I was learning like math and feminine words, and my teacher wrote all the words out, and then I had to like join them up basically <laughs> um, with the masculine and feminine version. They said like student, the masculine one, and the feminine one. Um, doctor, the masculine version, the feminine version, and like made it a bit of a game, which helps me a lot because I'm not the most academic person, so I need to make it fun, and that helps me a lot. It's quite easily digestible, and even for me, I had no like, I, I knew no Arabic before I came here, nothing, literally, other than my family, and that's it, I don't know anything else. Um, it is easily digestible, like, it's quite easy to follow, and things like that. I mean, I'm having to go over like the same module um, quite a few times because I'm struggling to like pick up the concept, but apparently, when the page drops, it drops. Anyway, I'm just going to finish my Arabic homework now, finish doing a little bit of studying and then that will probably take me to the end of the day and it will just be dinner time um, and I'll keep you updated. Thing. 
the mental exhaustion you get here, like obviously you're not working, you're not having that practical exhaustion, I'm not gymming, I'm not doing anything active, I've been walking. But mentally, the exhaustion that comes with like studying is actually unbelievable. Like my attention span here is just wild, honestly, it's not that great. Like it's so hard to get back in a study mode. I feel like I obviously have I left school 16, I went to performing arts college from 16 to 18 and have not been in school since, okay? My job for five years was a drama teacher, so it was very like, I didn't really have to use my brain to be honest. Like it was something that came natural to me, I loved it, it was easy. And then my job in Manchester is definitely gets my brain working, but it's different. Like I haven't studied, like studied in a long time. Like honestly, it's hard. Like it's genuinely, genuinely hard. Especially because like, I said, for someone who's not naturally academic, like, I'm just not the academic type. But like I struggle with that anyway, like I'm a bit more of a creative person. Um, getting back into that routine is definitely hard like it's definitely definitely hard like, i feel like for some people this is easy isn't it but for me it's difficult um yeah it's difficult, obviously rewarding i'm going to come to that i just come this is my beef teriyaki i got it with veg and chips and honestly i'm so excited to eat it so this made a lot guys i'm waiting longer Okay guys, we've just got back into our area. I've come and got changed because it's a bit chilly in the evenings here. So I've put on some warmer clothes and we're heading over to watch the Morocco game. I'm super excited and I really hope they win. And I will see you guys back again next week for another video. Bye!